Russia Beach, Jamaica, morning, Shukagel here, Porsche, Malton. We're going to use a Kaya this morning. Uh, we are going to go over to the islands, over the key, over there. I'm not sure if I can bring the phone. I'm going to try. <laughs> it may get wet, but we are going to see how it goes. So this here again is, is run by Pelicide and we are going to try to use the Kaya on a float. One of them, them live floaters. We are going to attempt to go out by the reef, which me and Porsche have done many a times. It's right there. It's a small little reef over that side. So we are going to push off from this end here and we are going to go across over there. Right. We're going to see if we can catch wilks and maybe roast some wilks over there and see how it goes. So let us see what happened today. Right? <laughs> Remember to subscribe. One love. Catch one more line. See right there, sir. Okay, just snap for them. Right there, sir. Just snap for them. The big boy, them tell them to you. Know, as it, as it. All right, guys, we made it. So now we are on Stone Key. It's that's Helsha you're looking at over there. I'm not sure if I can pull it up, but that's Elsha Beach there, right back around. And you can see from the Stone Key here down by Fort Clarence also. And this is the key, and that's um, Port Royal, Kingston Harbor. And this is the key here. So me and Porsche, we swim across. We use the, the kayak. Right? And Porsche used this. I use the tube. Right? Me and Melton. And here's Melton trying to set up a little thing because it's hot over here. And Wang came with us also. Wang is down at the bottom. So let me see if I can just give you a quick show you a small key is what it's nice for catching conks on the bottom. For catching the cones. Alright, so it's like that. And like that. And this is it. So they are going to catch fish. They're going to try to catch some fish and to roast some milks. Alright, nice guys. Shuka here. Hi. All right, so now they're trying to catch something that we can we can clean up or cook or just make a fire and cook. All right, and I'm right here. This is behind the reef, so you know it's a small reef here. It's not a big reef, but this is behind the reef. See, we'll have the ships them out there. And we have a lot of birds on this island. 
my father, country, countryman, used to bring us here on his little corner boat most time when he's coming out to um to dry his fish pots. Right? So me and Portia had learned how to swim from Hellasha Beach and come across from when we were quite young. Right? And Wong, let me see one of them wilts. So this is what we find over here. We find wilts. I won't show you the wilts. And these grow on the rock in the water. Yes, so you know that one you big guys. Massive. They're nice when you boil them. All soup you can boil with them. Soup they're nice yeah. here. And them so, can be curried. And you can roast them. And, you, and can. you can you can you can do them in a lot of dish. So this is one point, this is the last point here at the Stone Island. And Hersha has been er eroded so much as the sea has taken away the shoreline. Many of the shoreline is gone, leaving the shed the sheds practically in the water. Right, but um, it's still here, it's still going on. People still do their living here. It's a fisherman's community. It has been for for long for as long as I can remember. Alright? And people make their living normally from the sea. So they would catch wilks, conks, lobsters when the lobster is in season. And they would go to the boats. Alright? I'm going to do a video showing you the boats going out one morning and coming in. Right? How they sell the fish here on the beach. But um Helsha is a is a fisherman's community. 10 acres allotted by the UDC, the Urban Development of Jamaica, to the fishermen on the beach. And it has grown over the years. It has grown and become real populated. But the, the people are always friendly. You know, always fisher people where they do their selling and their stuff. And it's a lovely place. It's still a lovely place. Always love Helsha Beach. Big stones. Sometimes you have lobster under there, even crabs. Right? And you can see the water is so clean and pretty. And you have the seeds. Let's see if I can get a shot of that seed. And you, sometimes you have, um, you have, sometimes you have um, octopus and congre eel, mori eel in the stone, so you have to be careful because they will bite you. We have a lot of seeds there. And see Porsche are going for bubbles there. This is Jack. Get Jack. Oh, now the man has left the other day. is covered they camouflage they camouflage themselves so they actually looks like the rock they looks they look just like the rock so you have to really look to take them up So, um, me and Portia, when we're young and we're in the beach or at the sea, we try to taste a little. It's kind of salty. Exactly. Portia call it sea grape. Right? Um, and this is a snapper, guys. And we have a grunt in our pan here. Who wants to taste the sea grape? Me! Just one little fish. Like salt. So Porsche getting the fire ready. 
Wong up there looking after the Wilkes. Melton out there with the can. Oh. Birds. This is why I throw my line. See right there, sir? Get the snap of them. I just said the snap of them. The big boy, they enter the twin. As it, as it. Look at Porsche's fire. Look, it's blazing like hell right here on at Hershavi. I want to put the wheels on there, but I'm not even sure how I'm going to. Let me see if I can set them there. I'm going to put the smaller ones where I can reach them right there. This one, I'll put right there. Okay, and the rest are just drop them there. The heat. See how it's done. This is how we do it, you know? Put big cone if you go and bubble, you know? Alright guys, so this is the comb and this is all I'm hoping you can see it cooking. The wheel looks there, it's almost ready. You should be able to take the wheels short. No, it's cooking too. All of them are cooking. It's a fire there. So these are the finished product of the Kong. We roast it. And these are the Wilkes. I just splash some seawater on it like that. Kong. And Portia is just calling me. He's showing me something that he has caught. Let us see what it is. Alright, so Portia called. We call this uh, where can I crab that? Obia man crab. In a Jamaica or a king. The spider crab. The spider one. Right. You see? Hold by the one here. And at the top. Aye, you look around. Why are you not in top? You know, you're rough enough. I ain't cut you up. Stop, stop. Stop, boy. Love him, girl. Let him go. No, just let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let's just hold him there. I too. And this one. And that is how we catch them. Them boy, them fast, you know. You don't know, so I'm not watching them. Them. See? Hey! Oh. Another one, another one, another one. There's another one, take him up. Nice! I'm going to curry crab today. So this is... We call them Obia Man Crab. These are fairly small. They grow up huge and sell for so much money sometimes. But these ones are heavy. They have a lot more flesh. They're younger, see? They're, they're, they're nice crabs. They're called spider crabs. Yeah, they're called spider crabs. Jamaicans, 
Jamaicans call them Obiaman crab. We, you call them spider, which they do look like them um, tarantulas, don't it, guys? Hairy. call it a dog teeth snapper in Jamaica. It's nice. It's a nice snapper fish. Oh, yes, their teeth are real sharp. Bite you. Nice job. Alright, so this is the conch. It has been roasted. So I guess what am I going to do? I'm just going to smash it here upon the stone because I didn't bring a cutlass with me. And we were swimming. So roast it and we kind of like smash it yeah. and then when I'm finished I'm going to put it back on the coal of the fire I'm not sure if I'm getting it properly right, so now here's a con Martin right so here it comes out this is a conch. It's almost, it's hot. You can't see the steam coming off of it. So what I'm going to do with this is just, so the fire has died out a little. So I just want to put it right where the coal is right there. Yeah, let it stay right in there. It's going to cook a little bit more. Right, and the same way we kind of just put the shells away there. And we cut. And we smash. We smash the arm. Um, we smash the wheels. We can we smash this one here. And then we wash it. So I take off the bottom part. And there is come off already. Here now, you have it. Right, that's it. If anything should happen and you need to get something to eat and you're, <laughs> you're on an island, I think the wilks and the sea, the sea water, it acts as a sauce. So it makes it nice. You clean it up properly. It can be eaten. It's ready to be eaten. I'm going to let Melton taste one. <laughs> Do you like to taste a piece of the world? It's cooked. Yes, it is. Just bite. Like there. No pepper. No pepper today. Just the salt nice, water. No? Tastes nice. Um, <laughs> All right. So this is the long jaw that um, Milton had caught. This is the long jaw that Milton had caught. Longer in the blue bone. All right, guys. So this is the finished product. A roasting the the conch on the on the fire. All right. So what we are going to do? We are going to wash it with some seawater because we didn't we didn't bring anything. So you are surviving. It's a survival thing today. So you're going to take off the gut. All of that uh, Milton is taking off is the gut of the, 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 the conch. But you can see that it is roast and charred nicely. Right? And the salt water will, will act as our sauce for today. So we're going to get all of that part, clean it off nicely. And then we're going to slice it. And we're going to taste a piece of it. Right? While you're on the, the island.
Alright, so we're going to try it now, guys. Let's see what it tastes like. Right here on the water. We're going to taste it. So, Milton slicing it like that. Just for us to get a little taste of the cup, what it tastes like. Just normally people eat it raw in Bahamas. Kong salad. It's lovely and it's tender because it's not overcooked, so it's not it's not stringy. It's juicy, sweet, real sweet, and it's actually real soft. It's nice. All right, guys. So. That's it on Stony Island right for today. We'll show you maybe the curry crabs another time. <laughs> and subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Yeah. Keep the channel going. One love. <laughs>